The Rich Rabbit. It won't be wrong if we say Floyd Mayweather brought back the colors boxing was lacking for two decades. Soccer and tennis took over boxing after heavyweights disappeared, but Floyd brought back the charm. His trash talk, gold chains, and show-off skills somehow managed to bring back fame and attention back to boxing ring. People started seeing press conferences, face-offs, and of course, the matches too. Now things went like this in his childhood as he was born to a dysfunctional family. His grandmother was the first to notice his boxing skills and when Mayweather sought to find a job, his grandmother encouraged him to develop his boxing skills. With the help of his father who he spent little time with and some of his uncles, Mayweather trained well enough to begin his amateur career. Mayweather's amateur career was the genesis of his boxing career success. During that early phase, he developed his skills so well that he soon understood the dynamics of his style of boxing. One of such was the defensive boxing techniques he adopted following his uncle's training. And that earned him his pretty boy moniker. He fought in 92 matches throughout his amateur career and tasted defeat just eight times. Among the notable championships young Mayweather won are 1993, 94 and 96 National Golden Gloves Championship as well as the bronze at the 1996 Summer Olympics. Though his early years were marred by rifts with his father which involved him firing him as his trainer, Mayweather remained focused, recording successive wins until he landed his first title victory in 1998, the WBC Super Featherweight title. That win garnered a lot of praise for the star, but he continued to defend his title, holding on to the belt for three more years, until he decided his exploits in the Super Featherweight division was up. He quickly proceeded to the lightweight division where he went on to become the ring and WBC lineal lightweight champion. He soon left the lightweight division and went on to fight in the light welterweight division. Mayweather was on course to win another title in this division but he left as the top contender for the light welterweight title. In April 2006, after he defeated Zab Judah, he became the IBF welterweight champion. Mayweather earned $5 million from the bout. His eyes were thus set on other titles in the division and months later his dream materialized with him defeating Carlos Baldomir to emerge as the ring and WBC welterweight champion, marking his third lineal championship win in three divisions, namely super featherweight, lightweight and welterweight. He received eight million dollars for his win. But this is not it. After his success in the welterweight division, Mayweather went on to the light middleweight division where he claimed the WBC title before returning to the welterweight division after giving up his light middleweight championship. He won his welterweight championship again and went on to win the light welterweight championship which he hadn't won earlier. He then went on to retire in 2007. In May 2009, Mayweather returned from retirement to fight Juan Manuel Marquez, who was the ring lightweight champion. After triumphing over Manuel, a fight which saw him earn $25 million, he fought one more time before he announced he's out to gain more titles. Mayweather continued his stellar form, winning all his fights but without claiming a title. In 2013, he defeated Saul Alvarez to win the WBC and the Ring Welterweight Championship and went on to unify the title with his WBA Super Welterweight win. His fight with Alvarez earned him a mind-blowing $73 million. After years of negotiations in 2015, he finally fought against the Filipino boxing sensation Manny Pacquiao 
and defeated him. His fight with Manny earned him the biggest paycheck in his career, $250 million. Following his highly publicized fight against Pacquiao, he went on to defend his WBC, WBA and the Ring Welterweight Championships before he finally retired for the second time in his career. Third time's the charm, as they say, and he came out of retirement yet again for a massive fight against the UFC legend, Conor McGregor. The fight was held in August 2017, with Mayweather turning up on top. His bout with McGregor ranks as the second most profitable fight of his career, as he earned $100 million. His next fight came in December 2018 against Tenshin Nasukawa, who lasted only one round against Mayweather. The fight, which ended in just two minutes, saw Mayweather part with $88 million. In 2020, Floyd Mayweather's net worth is estimated to be around $565 million, which ranks him as the richest boxer in the world right now. Most of his fortune is indirectly related to his boxing career, where he has earned over $1 billion thanks to his massive pay-per-view bouts, which have attracted thousands of viewers. His boxing promotions company, Mayweather Promotions, which he founded in 2006, is also a lucrative business venture, which has greatly boosted his total net worth. Floyd Mayweather topped the list of the highest paid athletes of the decade with his estimated earnings of $915 million within the last decade. Floyd Mayweather's career earnings are thus estimated to be above $1 billion going by some of the posted earnings for his boxing matches throughout his career. Known for his extravagant lifestyle, Mayweather doesn't shy away from flaunting his massive wealth. He owns a mansion in Los Angeles worth about $25 million. The mansion is said to have a 12-seat cinema and a wine rack which can accommodate as much as 225 bottles for his star-studded house parties. Mayweather's watch collection is valued well over $18 million. In 2018, he purchased an 18 million billionaire watch by Jacob & Co. The billionaire diamond Tourbillon is truly an epitome of a high-end watch. For a man like Mayweather Jr., with a net worth valued well over $500 million, a luxury wristwatch is a fashion accessory. Floyd Mayweather's car collection, which is worth about 20 million pounds, includes a Bugatti Chiron, four Bugatti Veyrons, a Lamborghini Aventador, and a Ferrari 488. He also owns a Mercedes G63 AMG and a set of Rolls-Royce cars worth about two million pounds. Mayweather favors his cars being black and white, except his Bugatti Veyron, which have a red and silver color. Floyd Mayweather is also a proud owner of two private jets, one of which is a Gulfstream G650 valued at $60 million. Owning a private jet is more or less like a walk in the park for the money guy. Nothing says you are super duper rich unless you own a private jet. Mayweather is also an avid gambler. He once bet over $1 million on a college football game. This gambling habit isn't just about sports either, as he just likes to gamble in general. Of course, like many people, Mayweather loves to travel and he spends a lot of money on his living situation. The fighter has several multi-million dollar homes. If you think that's all, you are absolutely wrong, my friend. Mayweather loves his music, so much so that he splashed $50,000 on this bejeweled iPod case back in 2010. It even had a chain in case he lost it. Not that he couldn't afford another one. Designed by Jacob & Co, the 280 karat diamond watch, the billionaire, is the only watch of its kind in the world and is made up of 165 different components. 
No Playboy Mansion is ever complete without a home cinema, but Mayweather took it to the next level at his 25 million LA mansion, adding in a self-serve candy shop. A shop that would even put 50 cent to shame. Mayweather paid over $600,000 to have his friends ringside at the MGM Grand Las Vegas when he beat Canelo Alvarez in September 2013. But this is just a small sum for the man considering his purse for the fight was $41.5 million. Purchased in 2015, Mayweather's Koenigsegg CCX Art Tervera is one of only two of its kind in the world and boasts a top speed of over 409 kilometers per hour, which is 254 miles per hour for you lovely Americans out there. Rather than wash his underwear like a normal person, Mayweather wears a new pair every single time he changes, which is estimated to cost him around $6,500 per year according to the richest. He does the same with sneakers, wearing them only once before disposing of them. Kuyana Jeffries, Mayweather's personal chef, must cook some really good food as according to Esquire, he pays her $1,000 per meal. He's also said to keep her on retainer 24 hours a day. Mayweather's barber, Jackie Starr, can't be half bad either as he pays the same amount for a haircut as he does a meal. Last year, TMZ reported that Mayweather spent $5.3 million on jewelry alone during a lavish spending spree at Peter Marco in Beverly Hills. His purchases included a 2.3 million VVS ring, a 2.5 million diamond bracelet and a 2 pound yellow gold Cuban necklace. The money and riches have always flowed freely for Mayweather, so freely that he changed his name from pretty boy to money for his boxing bouts, and it's plain to see why. A pure rags to riches story reminds me of a quote from Walt Disney. If you can dream, you can do it. That's what happened in Floyd's story. From being alone even in the presence of his parents, to filling out arenas and becoming the best boxer in the history of the sport, Floyd Mayweather has been an inspiration for everyone. The Rich Rabbit